Hello, this is Mike from Windows7Forums.com. In this video, I will show you how to make your laptop USB 3 compatible, even if your laptop did not come with USB 3 ports. The key to making this change is simply to use an express card in order to benefit from the new speed of USB 3. The throughput and bandwidth capabilities of USB 3 far exceed its predecessor USB 2. If you have a laptop that does not have an Ivory Bridge or Sandy Bridge motherboard, chances are you are using USB 2. The maximum write speed for USB 2 is about 20 megabytes per second. To contrast that, the average write speed of a USB 3 flash drive is about 120 megabytes per second, with a maximum throughput of 5 gigabits per second. I'll be demonstrating the USB flash drive for you right now. As you can see, we have an M1330 laptop. This laptop was originally designed for compatibility with Windows Vista. However, it has seen numerous upgrades, including an upgrade to its network card, an upgrade to its memory, and an upgrade to its hard drive from a standard conventional hard drive to a solid state drive. Like many laptops of the Windows Vista generation, it is only capable of using USB 2. However, this is solved using an express card. The equivalent to a laptop PCI express card would be an internal PCI card installed on a desktop computer. These cards are often used specifically as graphics cards, as network cards, as wireless internet cards, as well as Bluetooth cards and anything you can possibly think of that would improve uh, the functionality of your desktop computer. For example, you can install an internal PCI card to give you USB 3 capability on a desktop computer as well. This quite obviously is a USB 3 express card. It has a 5 gigabit per second transfer rate and it can be used very easily by sliding it in to any basic laptop uh, that still has express card ports and typically these do not have USB 3 or eSATA capability. I'll show you how this is done here. This is also an eSATA express card. Now this would be used for external serial ATA which is a little bit faster but usually requires an external power source. USB 3 devices currently do not really require multiple power sources because they are powered by the USB hub. You will go ahead and find the express card slot. It is usually on the side of the system. And as you can see here, there's a small entrance here. We install the card carefully sliding it in and you'll see it light up right there. We have two ports for this card and you'll see it pop up in Windows. You may have to install drivers that come with the device, uh, but in this case, we already have them installed and we can of course eject that device at any time we want but it is installed and working properly in Microsoft Windows 7, we'll go ahead and we will now install our USB flash drive into this device. And once we do that, we will have a uh, excellent connection uh, going into uh, this system at USB 3 speed. As you can see, we got pretty good benchmarks there, going about 120 megabytes per second. Launching a Cronus True Image Home 12 shows us that the backup speed is actually very fast. This is doing an incremental backup of the M1330, but a full backup was even made that took about 15 to 20 minutes. Traditionally, this takes a lot longer for a 128 gigabyte drive, but what you're seeing here is about five gigabytes of data being backed up in less than about three minutes. So that's pretty good. I certainly hope that you enjoyed watching this video. The USB 3 flash drive can actually be used for multiple purposes. This includes the installation of operating systems, the execution of, of files that would normally be placed on a regular hard drive, and all sorts of different arrangements. You can use your USB 3 flash drive as if it is an internal drive on your system. That's how fast it is. These drives are pretty reliable. They're much more reliable than conventional hard drives, and you'll find that using them is pretty easy. Thanks again for watching this video. If you have any questions, please visit us at windows7forums.com, and thanks a lot.